Now we want to solve a consistent system of linear equations. Consistent means that we get a nice answer, 1x and 1y value. There are at least four methods for solving a system of linear equations. There's the graphing method, the substitution method, linear combinations, and matrices. This lesson will focus on the graphing method of solving a system. Let's solve the system of equations graphically of x minus 2y minus 4 equals 0 and 3x plus 2y minus 4 equals 0. So let's take the first equation, x minus 2y minus 4. Let's solve this for y. Let's add 4 to both sides of the equation. So we have x minus 2y equals 4. Let's subtract x from both sides of the equation. So we have negative 2y equals negative x plus 4. Let's divide through by negative 2. So we have y equals 1 half x minus 2. So from this, let's create a, a table of values. We're going to have x's and y's. Let's have 0 for x, 0 for y, and negative 2. We put 0 in here. 1 half times 0 is 0, so we get negative 2. We put negative 2 in here. Negative 2 cancels with 2. We get negative 1, so we get negative 3. And if we want y equals 0, so we'd have 0 equals 1 half x minus 2. Let's add 2 to both sides of the equation, so we have 2 equals 1 half x. Let's multiply by the reciprocal of 1 half, which is 2 over 1. So we have x equals 4. So we have 4, 0. Let's plot the point 0, negative 2, 4, 0 and negative 2, negative 3. Let's see if we can draw a reasonable straight line between these three. Accuracy of your graph is quite important if you're going to use the graphing technique. Let's write the equation here. x minus 2y minus 4 equals 0 across the graph. Continue by doing the same thing with the second equation. 3x plus 2y minus 4 equals 0. Let's add 4 to both sides of the equation. 3x plus 2y equals 4. Let's get y by itself, so subtract 3x from both sides. So we have 2y equals negative 3x plus 4. Let's divide this by 2. So we're left with y equals negative 3 halves x plus 2. Let's set up a table of values. We'll have x's and we'll have y's. Let's put 0 in for x, 0 in for y. Let's try negative 2 again for x. If x is 0, negative 3 halves times 0 is 0 plus 2. We put negative 2 in here. The negatives cancel out so we get positive 3. So we wind up with negative 2, 5. If we want y equal to 0, we have negative 3 halves x plus 2. Subtract 2 from both sides. Multiply by the reciprocal of negative 3 halves. Let's see. So we have negative 2 thirds times negative 2 equals negative 2 thirds times negative 3 halves x. So these all cancel. And we're left with x equals, and it looks like positive 4 thirds. So let's plot these points. 0, 2 will be here. 4 thirds would be somewhere around here. Negative 2, 5 will be somewhere up there. Let's see if we connect these points and something resembling a straight line. So that would be the equation 3x plus 2y minus 4 equals 0. Where do these two lines cross? It looks like the point somewhere around 2, x is 2, y is negative 1. In order to check this to make sure 2, negative 1 is reasonable, let's put 2 in for x and negative 1 for y. So we have 2 minus 2 times negative 1 minus 4. So we have 2 plus 2 minus 4. 0 equals 0, so we know it works in that equation. Let's try the other equation. 2 in for x, negative 1 for y. 3 times 2 plus 2 times negative 1 minus 4. 3 times 2 is 6. 
minus 2 minus 4, 0 equals 0. So we have, in fact, checked, and the solution for our system of equations is x is 2, y is negative 1, and here's the graph to show our solution.